Currently in the instrumentation program, we're studying flow measurement. Now one of the labs we've come up with that's fairly easy to set up and makes good use of a large control valve is to build a flow measurement system using our own Venturi tube. This one is constructed out of PVC pipe fittings. You can see how we built it right here. We have the upstream section, the wide section, and the downstream, the narrow, the throat of the Venturi. We have that coupled to a uh, two inch flange on a Fisher E-body valve. Now this is typical of the valves we can get donated from industry, rather large valves for anything that we could actually build here in our lab and use productively. We do not have the capacity here to set up a water flow loop or any liquid flow loop that could use such a large capacity valve. But airflow is another matter. And so what we're doing here is we're connecting the Venturi tube to the valve and then through a hose to a vacuum cleaner. So we're using air as the process fluid and using the vacuum cleaner as the motive source of power to make the air flow. So the idea is the air enters the left-hand side of the valve, is throttled by the valve, enters into the Venturi tube right here, comes out the other side, and into the vacuum cleaner and out into the ambient air. Now what's neat about this is not only can we measure airflow, but we can control it too using the valve hooked up with a PID controller. So we're using our Delta V DCS control system to do the control flow on this particular loop. So walking over here, we come over to our operator station where we have a PID loop set up right now and it displays the process variable flow which right now is pretty close to zero displays a set point of 50 percent and right now the control valve is wide open because the controller is trying to establish flow that can't because the vacuum cleaner is off but what's going to happen is I'll start up the vacuum cleaner that of course will make air move through the venturi tube it will register flow and the PID controller will throttle down the valve to control the flow at set point of about 50 percent I'll come over here then and we can adjust the set point and watch it go up and down and watch it trend on the screen. So it's a fairly easy loop to build, to set up, and it gives students opportunity not only to measure flow using a Venturi tube, but also to practice PID loop tuning because they'll have a live dynamic process to work with. And like I said, one of my favorite elements of this lab is that it makes good use of these otherwise very large valves that we have no application for in our simple lab. So here we go, starting up the vacuum cleaner. You can see the valve throttling right now to maintain airflow at 50%. We come over here. You can see briefly in blue, we had a, an excess of airflow because the valve started in a wide open condition. The controller is all wound up to 100%, and now it's controlling at set point. So we're going to take this over here, our set point control. We're going to move that down to about 25%. That, of course, closes off the valve, and we see our airflow dropping off into set point. We could be more aggressive with our tuning at this point. It looks like we could use uh, perhaps a bit more proportional action and integral as well. We have a sharp drop off first, but then it gradually slides into set point. We could make that more aggressive. So more tuning could be done in this particular loop. Let's do an upwards set point chain to see how it responds. So, we see the process variable here rising to set point. A little bit of porpoising, which means we're either too aggressive on our gain or too aggressive on derivative. We'd have to take a look at the tuning and see how that stands right now. But at any rate, it serves to illustrate how this rather simple loop can be used for PID loop tuning, in addition to demonstrating the principles of flow measurement using a Venturi tube. It's simple, easy to build, uses common components. And when I say common, I mean commonly available components for a program such as ours where we get donations of large control valves. So an idea for anyone out there studying instrumentation, a uh, way to use these large control valves in a simple and safe way, and to build a flow measurement process that can also be used to illustrate PID loop control.